Hello again and welcome to the Friday Wrap for September 26th. Uh, this time, for the very first time, we are filming this uh, from the actual boardroom at the Village Hall in case uh, you haven't had a chance to watch it on TV. Uh, that's my chair right behind me and of course uh, the, the uh, board members are on both sides right and left. Uh, last weekend, uh, I had it was a very unique event that was going on in the Village. I'm not sure how many years it's been going on, I think about five or ten. Uh, but the Taste of Egypt uh, was held at St. Mark's Coptic Church on 79th Street. My wife and I happened to be one of the first ones there to kind of kick it off on Saturday. Uh, we, had, we had a nice tour of the church, as well as a lunch uh, with Dr. Rafat Malik, uh, as well as their, their pastor, or one of their three pastors, uh, Father Pavlos. I came back the next day to take some extra pictures, including of the camel ride, uh, and ended up buying even a little, little item, uh, kind of a a sphinx with a pyramid behind it. It's amazing how remarkably similar uh, that pyramid is to my own company logo. Uh, it was a great event. I hope you had a chance to make it or we'll have a chance to next year. Uh, they're in the process, of, in the middle of a very big uh, re uh, re project, uh, which I think you're going to be uh, very excited to see as it, as it progresses. Uh, on Monday night, uh, we had a village board meeting, on, uh, uh, which, which we went through a lot of the items on the consent agenda. Uh, mostly having to do with the, uh, some meeting minutes, uh, the plan commission recommendations, etc. Uh, there was one item that I, I pulled off the consent agenda uh, regarding the uh, plan commission's recommendation to make, not to make any changes uh, to the 10 feet requirement for setbacks of, uh, of additional structures being built on properties. Uh, and I, I recommend that you uh, take a look at the actual meeting itself for a complete explanation because uh, the, the plan commission uh, recommended that there be no changes, at least partially due to the fact that it would, be, it would cause some problems with some non-conforming, uh, legally uh, built uh, structures uh, that, uh, uh, that built, have been built in the past. But I, I recommend that you watch that if you can. In addition, we had a presentation of our fiscal year 2013-14 audit uh, that was conducted by our new audit company called Wolf & Company, and an update of our general fund operations by our, our finance director, Jerry Sapp. Uh, he gave us some good news that we are actually uh, meeting or exceeding our expectations as far as budget. Uh, that Steve Stricker was really the architect of, uh, but uh, uh, certainly we need to be uh, vigilant throughout the rest of the year and try to keep that, keep that trend going. In addition, this week we had the Burr Ridge Veterans Memorial Committee met on Wednesday. I was unable to attend that this time, but uh, uh, the discussion uh, continued regarding the possibility of adding a memorial for Purple Heart veterans. In addition, I had a mayor's lunch uh, hosted by the DuPage Mayors and Managers Conference and uh, uh, Woodridge Mayor Gina Cunningham there were about a dozen of us uh, in, in attendance there to discuss our ideas, updates, and concerns uh, with the DuPage County Chairman, who was the, the guest speaker, uh, Mr. Uh, Gorse Chairman Dan Cronin. And also for your information and safety, uh, this week there was a burglary on Wednesday on, Wednesday on Camelot Drive in Cambridge Estates. It occurred uh, mid-morning. They were only out of the house for about an hour, uh, but, we, but the uh, Deputy Chief uh, did recommend uh, and, and asked me to tell, ask you uh, that if you see any, see any cars that are of suspicious nature being parked around the, around the streets, uh, don't hesitate to call the police and have them check it out. Their local number is 630-323-8181. In addition, you might have seen a bunch of activity of fire and police uh, cars all over the five seasons on Wednesday also. Pretty busy day overall. Uh, there's actually, they said it was a chlorine leak. What it was was actually a spill, about 10 gallons of chlorine, uh, which they tried to uh, clean up before the, uh, uh, before the people uh, we're, uh, we're came to, to use the pool, uh, but that ended up causing a little bit of a health scare, uh, and the three people actually had, were rushed to the hospital, at least for precautionary measures, but everything was fine by the next day. There were also a couple of political events around the village. On Sunday night, we had Congressman uh, Peter Roskam uh, was in town uh, at Dr. Srini Reddy's house uh, over on uh, near County Line Road. Uh, there were about 45 people in attendance there as well. That was a, uh, went very well, and of course, uh, Peter gave uh, another great speech about his vision of, the, of the, uh, what's going on in the House of Representatives and vision for the country. Uh, he also was at, at, in attendance at, uh, uh, at Patty Bellock's uh, fundraiser at Ruth Lake uh, on, on uh, I think that was Thursday. Also this week, I had a request by Dr. Ted Gifford uh, from the men's group at the Bethlehem Woods uh, Retirement Community over by Nazareth in LaGrange Park. Uh, it was only, seen only fitting and proper that I, I end up uh, uh, being invited uh, to, to do a speech about my 50 Capitals trip. It was a very patriotic, humbling, and life-changing trip uh, that, um, that the seniors over there wanted, wanted to uh, uh, hear about. Uh, and I, I know it's 
it's, it's always always great to uh, be able to make that make that presentation uh, to a group of uh, patriotic veterans uh, like they had in attendance over there, about 45 of them. On a personal note, uh, last weekend I missed the Straub family reunion, which was back in Pennsylvania. But coincidentally, my brother actually ended up I uh, ended up uh, running into a, a cousin of ours we hadn't seen in a long time, who's actually the office manager for a mayor in Hawaii. Uh, on a, in, a, in a village in, or city in, inside on the island of uh, Maui, you know it was a, it was a really a, a very busy uh, uh, busy around the village this week. And I have to say, uh, it, this uh, these Friday wraps are kind of forcing me to have kind of a, a diary of sorts, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, but I'll tell you, this is certainly the the fullest part-time job that I ever had. But thanks again for joining me. Have a great week.